Hello everyone and welcome to the mini game review series, a series where we discuss and review games in a condensed format. In today's video, we will take a quick review at Gangshin Impact. Originally, this review was written by me in November 2020. It's been recently updated for the Gangshin Impact 1 year anniversary and for this video series. My name is Nick, also known as NY404, and enjoy the video. Genshin Impact is a great introduction to open world RPGs for those who are itching to explore the vast landscape and habitat of Teyvat. Granted, it seems the developers, MiHoYo, knew what they wanted to deliver in terms of story, game mode, mechanic, and business model. However, this is where MiHoYo kind of falls flat in certain areas. When I heard Genshin Impact is a free to play game, I was initially intrigued, curious, and excited at the same time. How could MiHoYo accomplish such a feat? Well, it turns out to be another gotcha game, but the entire gameplay experience isn't purely dictated by this system. MiHoYo seamlessly implemented this system to kind of enhance the experience. Obtaining and pulling good characters, weapons, and artifacts will surely assist the player, but it's not a necessity at least not until you reach close to endgame. This is what sets Genshin Impact apart from other gacha games. For the price of nothing, yes, you heard me, for the price of nothing, you get an open world experience which is probably the best feature Genshin Impact has to offer. The game runs great, even on mobile, and the environment is beautiful. It is heavily inspired by Breath of the Wild, yet it also resembles other great RPGs such as Xenoblade Chronicles and Yeast 8. To call it a clone of either of those games is a cop-out. Regardless, MiHoYo managed to take those inspirations and create a solid, familiar RPG experience. In my opinion, I feel that MiHoYo tried to package many features and RPG tropes into this game. Some features are great, and some features need work. Multiplayer co-op is almost like a last-minute feature. It's half-baked, but it can be improved. The resin system needs work and perhaps should increase as you rank up. The combat system is just alright, but simple enough to be fun. As you get close to endgame, it seems like there's barely enough content for the game's longevity. Since its debut, MiHoYo has added more content, including in-game events, web events, and story expansion. Mobile control support has been added, but it's still pretty limited. I'd say keep an eye out on this game once it's near completion. The entire game's story and exploration are only 5% done. Overall, if MiHoYo can iron out some of those features, I really think this game is the perfect example of what future RPGs should follow suit. It has every feature you can think of in order to create the perfect RPG experience. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you like this type of content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what game you would like us to cover in the comments. If you like Genshin Impact content, check out our Genshin Impact playlist on the screen or the link in the description. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.